Hi everyone, welcome back. If we haven't met before, I'm Sophie, and it's been a little while since I've released some free content on YouTube. So today I'm gonna to be guiding you through a soft and stretchy vinyasa practice that can be taken at any time of day. So maybe you wanna take this practice when you wake up in the morning, maybe after a busy day rushing around. Now, I don't know if you might be able to tell, but I'm currently in the jungle in Costa Rica. It's 31 degrees, so I'm definitely going to be getting a little bit sweaty today. So don't worry if you do too. If you've decided to move along with the playlist, we're going to hit play together in three, two, one. Now we're going to start our practice today by lying down on our back. So drawing those soles of the feet together, let those knees fall out wide. Just beginning to really open out into those hips as we take one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest. I always like to begin my practices with three clearing and collective breaths just to really feel space into the chest, into the rib cage, making a little bit more space to be, a little bit more space to breathe. So together we inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Inhaling through the nose. And then sigh it out. <sighs> Finally, the deepest breath you've taken all day. Inhaling through the nose. And then really sigh it out. <sighs> We're going to gently release that bind, draw the hands to the outer edges of those knees, squeeze your knees in towards your chest, wrapping your arms around, give yourself a nice big hug here, maybe rocking a little from side to side. And then we'll bring one hand to each knee, draw the knees in towards the chest, and then take them outwards in opposite directions. So drawing these nice big circles into the hip space. Perhaps noticing any areas that feel a little sticky will go inwards. And then taking those circles in the opposite direction now. Final breath here, we inhale. Squeeze those knees in towards the chest. Exhale, engage the core. We'll then draw the hands to the back of the thighs. Just begin to rock and roll up and down your mat. So it can be really nice just to massage the spine here, building a little bit of momentum as we rock backwards and forwards. Eventually coming to find a seated position at the top of our mat, rolling the shoulders up, back and down, root down through the sit bones. We're gonna slide the hands behind those glutes. Take the feet hip width apart here and just begin to take some little windshield wipes from left to right with those knees. So the focus of our practice today is gonna be into the hips, into the side body. So just really breathing in to create a little bit of space here. And then bring those feet back to hips width apart. You might need to press down into the hands here to shift the bottom off the floor. We're gonna extend that right leg and then exhale right foot to your left thigh. Now, if this feels a little intense, you can always shuffle that left foot forward ever so slightly or even spin those hands around. If you're working in to a little bit more space, maybe shift that left foot in towards the glute. And I find it nice to take a little rock side to side here. So it's our seated figure four stretch. Deep inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna shuffle that left foot over, allow our right foot to land on the earth. So you're in a seated cross-legged position, right hand down on the ground, left arm lifts high towards the sky. And then exhale, we're gonna hook that right knee, give yourself a nice big hug again rotating from the center of the spine as you let the gaze softly follow towards the back of the room. Deep inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna counter twist, hands on the earth, undo that spine. Before we untangle those legs, maybe windshield wipe those knees a little again, reset those hips. Before coming on to the opposite side, this time feet hips distance. Remembering you can press down to lift the bottom of the floor as you lift the left leg. Left foot to right thigh this time. Our seated figure four. Maybe taking those little rocks, maybe shuffling the right toes out a little, maybe spinning those hands around. So as we move together today, I really invite you to 
find the variations of these postures that suit your body best. Final inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna shuffle that right foot across, let the left foot find the earth. Finding that seated twist again, ensure you're rooted down through both sit bones, left hand on the ground, right arm lifts high towards the sky. And then exhale to twist. So really ringing out through the center of the body, giving those insides a lovely little massage here. We're only here for one breath, inhale. Exhale, counter twist, hands on the earth, decompress that spine, bow the head down a little. Before we untangle those legs, once again, reset those hips. We're then gonna shuffle the bottom back a little, cross the feet, roll all the way onto the knees. Come to find a seated kneeling position. I'm just gonna face you so you can clearly see here. We're gonna work through a little bit more twisting through the center of the body. So we're gonna inhale, rise those arms high to the sky. On your exhale, you're gonna audibly make a shushing sound through the mouth as you twist towards the right hand side. Inhale, we lift. Exhale to twist. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, release. Final time, we lift. And exhale to release. This time, pad the hands forward, coming into a tabletop position. So shoulders in line with knees here. Shoulders in line with wrists here, hips over knees even, beginning to move through a cat-cow. Inhale, we lift and lengthen. Exhale, dome the spine, gaze towards the belly. Inhale, we lift and lengthen. And then exhale to release. An option to welcome in some free movement here, maybe rocking back over those hips, maybe rippling the weight forward over those wrists. We're here for two more breaths, so really feeling into any sticky areas here. Eventually, we'll come back to that tabletop position. We're gonna tuck the toes. Hover those knees an inch off the mat. Hold here, engage the core for three. Belly button to spine for two. And one, send those hips all the way up and back, coming into your first downward facing dog. So pedaling out through those feet here, maybe wiggling that tailbone left to right. Bending one knee and then the other as you really begin to open out through the backs of the legs, through the sides of the body. Fingers spread nice and wide, remembering you can always have a soft bend in those knees to shoot that tailbone nice and high. On your next inhale, rise that right leg high towards the sky. On your exhale, we're gonna send that right foot to the outer edge of that right hand. Inhale to prepare, exhale, right hand finds the sky, easy twist. Deep breath here, we inhale. Exhale, release that right hand inside the right foot. Lower the back knee down. Untuck the back toes, coming into a lizard lunge here. Now, I love to find a little bit of movement here. Sometimes when we take these deep stretches early in our practice, they can feel super, super sticky. So don't be afraid to go exactly where your body needs to go. We'll be here for two more breaths. You can either stay here, perhaps lowering down onto the forearms, or maybe you wanna come with me and take a little heart opener, right fingertips forward, up and back. Maybe catch those back toes, open through the chest, through the hips. Inhaling here. Exhale, release the bind, right hand inside, right foot. If you're down on those forearms, time to join us back here. Tucking back toes, lifting back knee. Just take a few rocks here in that active lizard. On your next exhale, you're gonna see if you can step that right foot to the outer edge of that right hand. Deep bend in the knees. Maybe the heels need to come off the earth as you arrive in your Malasana squat. So hands can join together at the heart center in Anjali Mudra. Or maybe you wanna join the fists together, pressing those knees out with the elbows. Again, if those hips are feeling a little bit sticky this morning, maybe take the hands to the earth, take a little wiggle. Together we inhale here, exhale, hands find the ground again. We're gonna step back with the right foot this time, coming into that active lizard. Just reversing that sequence, so taking a little rock backwards and forwards. We're then gonna lower that back knee down, untuck the back toes, coming into your variation of your lizard lunge. So maybe on this side, you notice you can go a little bit further onto those forearms. 
Or maybe you really enjoy taking that left hand all the way up and back, catching those back toes. Wherever you are, maintaining that audible and even breath. Deep inhale here. Exhale, release the bind. This time, left hand inside, left foot. Tuck back toes, lift back knee. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, come to that easy twist on the opposite side. So left fingertips rise. Breathing here, we inhale. Exhale, hand lands inside that left foot. Engage the core as you sweep that left leg high to the sky. And then exhale, come back to your downward facing dog. Maybe taking a little wiggle here through those hips. Spreading fingers nice and wide. We're going to inhale, gaze forward. And the exhale, take little steps or maybe even a little jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, we rise fingertips to the shins, look forward, flat back. Exhale, we fold. Root to rise, Adva Hastasana rippling up through the spine. Lightly touch the hands either side of the body before you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we look forward, flat back. Exhale, hands on the earth, soft bend in that right knee. We're going to step back with the left foot. Lower that left knee down, untuck left toes. Press down to lift up, Anjani Asana, low lunge. We're gonna inhale here. On our exhale, right hand to right hip. Take a little side stretch. So target area is the front of that left hip. Maybe gazing underneath that left armpit, feeling that lovely side body stretch. Inhaling here, exhale, come round to frame that front foot. Tuck back toes, we're gonna shift the weight back. Sit the bottom to the heel as you flex those right toes towards the face in a half split. Our aim is to keep the chest reaching towards the shin here. So not rounding the upper back, but feeling that delicious stretch down the back of the hamstring. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, transfer the weight into that right foot. Tuck back toes. Lift back knee, don't worry if you wobble. We're rising to our high crescent lunge. Inhale here to arrive. On your exhale, we're coming back to that side stretch. So right hand to the right hip. Exhale, side stretch. No worrying if you wobble. Deep bend in that front knee. Inhale here. Exhale, peel open warrior two. Deep bend in that front knee, pressing into the outer edge of that back foot. Ensure that front knee is tracking outwards and you can see that right big toe. Together we flip the front palm, reach forward. Exhale, reverse the warrior side stretch. Inhaling here. Exhale, turn those right toes forward. We're coming all the way around to Prasarita Padatanasana. So taking hold of the outer edges of the feet, calves or ankles. Allowing the head to soften towards the ground. Now if you're pretty open in your hips and your hamstrings, maybe heel toe those feet inwards a bit. Just to challenge yourself, really feeling that deeper stretch. And not relying on taking the head to the earth. Together we rise fingertips to the floor, look forward, flat back, and then pad those hands all the way around to frame the right foot. We're gonna engage the core, send the right leg all the way up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, take it all the way up and back. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow, hold for three, hold for two, and one, release that right knee by the right wrist. Flex the right foot, lower the calf down as you shuffle the left toes towards the back of the room. So we've arrived in our pigeon here. Inhale, we lift, we lengthen, grow out of those hips. Exhale, soften into that juicy, juicy stretch. So you can either come all the way down to your belly here. Maybe you wanna rest on those forearms. If you're super open here, option for a twisted variation. Extending right fingertips forward, threading the left hand underneath the right armpit. So again, selecting whichever option suits your body best. We're gonna inhale here. On your exhale, pad the hands up towards the body. We're now gonna sit onto that right glute, rotate all the way around so you're facing the long edge of your mat. I'm just gonna face you so you can see me here. So that right foot should be near the center line of the body, flexing left toes towards the face. Inhale, rising that right arm high towards the sky. Exhale to side stretch. 
Breathing here, we inhale. Exhale, can you go a little further? Final breath here, we inhale. Exhale, you're gonna rise up. Couple those hands to the front of the mat, step back to a high plank. And then option to lower knees, chest, chin, or high to low plank here. Inhale to your upward facing dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. So we're gonna be here in that downward facing dog for three long breaths. Remembering you can bend those knees as you soften through the shoulders, gazing towards the belly. Final breath here, we inhale. Exhale to release. On your next inhale, goes forward. End of the exhale, step, jump, float to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise fingertips to shins, look forward, flat back. Exhale, we fold. Root to rise. Adva Hastasana, ripple up through the spine. Lightly touch the palms and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we look forward, fingertips to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands towards the earth. Soft bend in that left knee, this time step back with that right foot. Lower the back knee down, untuck the back toes. Press down to lift up, Anjani Asana, low lunge. So really lift up and out of those hips as we inhale. On your exhale, left hand to left hip, take that little side stretch, opening out through the front of the right. Inhaling here. Exhale to release. On your next inhale, come round to frame that front foot. Tuck back toes. On your exhale, you're gonna shift back to sit on that right heel, come to find that half split. So remember the chest is shining forward towards that shin here. Gaze is lifted, not rounding in the upper body, so we really wanna work into that hamstring. Deep breath here, we inhale. Exhale, send the weight forward, tuck back toes, lift back knee. Rise up to that high crescent lunge. So maybe feeling a little bit of heat now, I certainly am. All 10 toes facing forward, we inhale here. Exhale, engage everything as that left hand comes to the left hip. Take that little side stretch again. So target area is the front of that right hip. Engaging through those legs, we inhale. Exhale, wimble the hands open, warrior two, softening through those shoulders. Together we flip that front palm, reach forward, exhale, side stretch. Opening out through the side of the body as we inhale. Exhale, can you sweep that left hand all the way around, spin all 10 toes to the long edge of your mat. Come to find that Prasarita Padatanasana. Again, maybe shortening the stance here if you're pretty open in those hips. And here, maybe you wanna take the hands to the earth this time, just wiggle a little from left to right. Allow the head to hang heavy for one more, inhale. On your exhale, rise fingertips to the shins or to the floor, even look forward. Exhale, release. We're gonna pad those hands all the way around to frame that front foot. Engage that core as the left leg finds the sky, three-legged dog. And then left knee to the back of the left wrist, gently place the calf down, shuffling right toes towards the back of the mat. Together we inhale here, lift, we lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Remembering all those different options, maybe coming to the forearms, maybe that twisted variation, right hand underneath left armpit, or maybe just staying up on the hands, whatever feels good for you. Together we take a deep inhale here. Exhale, rising back up onto those hands. We're then gonna sit down onto that left glute, spin yourself around to face the long edge of your mat. This time, right leg is extended, toes flex towards the face. We're gonna inhale, lift and lengthen through that left hand. And then exhale to side stretch here. Trying to dial that heart space towards the sky here. Final breath, we inhale. Exhale, rising up, fan those hands to the top of the mat. Step back to your high plank. Exhale to move through that vinyasa. So maybe knees, chest, chin. Inhale to your upward facing dog or cobra. 
Exhale, we're gonna release, roll all the way back over those knees, tuck the toes. Send the tailbone nice and high, downward facing dog. Breathing here, we're gonna inhale. On your exhale, ripple all the way forward, high plank. We're gonna lower down for the count of five. Bend those elbows in towards the side of the body. For four, for three, two, and one. When you arrive, forehead to the hands, wiggle those hips, reset the spine. And we're now gonna slide those arms into a number 11 shape. So ensure those forearms are in line with the shoulders, spreading the fingers nice and wide and just gently pull that chest through. So a little sphinx pose, just opening up through that heart space. Deep breath here, we inhale. Exhale to release, this time shoulders, hands even under those shoulders, press all the way up and back, coming through a child's pose, just getting caught in the bug net there. Bottom to the heels, coming back and taking a little rest here. When you're ready, tuck chin towards the chest, ripple up through the spine. We're gonna move through a dancing camel now, one of my absolute favorite postures. So rising up, bottom off the heels. You're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, blow all the air out of your lungs. Inhale, fingertips to the heel or to the earth as you press the chest forward. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, come to the other side. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, release, press those hips forward. Inhale, come through center. Exhale to release. Two more times in your own breath here. I'm really letting everything go, any sighs, any yawns, any clearing breaths, welcome. Bringing the bottom back to the heels now, just taking a moment to regain your balance, come back to neutral, and then pad the hands forward. Tuck the toes, send the tailbone nice and high, downward facing. So this is our last downward facing dog. So taking three deep breaths here. On your next inhale, gaze forward, end of the exhale, step, jump, float to a seated position at the top of your mat. We're gonna take a wide legged forward bend in Upavista Konasana, so legs nice and wide here. I can find it super handy to sit on a block, a cushion or a bolster, just to elevate the hips a little, tilting them a little further towards the ground. Externally rotating those thighs, flexing the toes towards the face. We're not gonna worry about how far we go here because this is possibly the most uncomfortable forward fold of them all. So we're gonna inhale, rise those arms high towards the sky. Close the eyes, let go of the ego mind as you forward fold. We're here for three deep breaths. On your final inhale, ripple up vertebrae by vertebrae, head arrives last. We're then gonna windshield wide those knees from left to right like we did at the beginning, just feeling into the hips. I'm sweating a lot now, I don't know about you guys. We're then gonna draw the soles of the feet together, take a really nice restorative forward bend as we move towards the end of our practice. So move the squishy parts of the bottom, lift up nice and tall, and then exhale, fold all the way over those legs. C curving through the spine. You wanna make sure you have a nice big diamond shape in those legs. Don't feel like the feet have to be too close towards the body. Just trying to bring your breath back to its regular rhythm here. Final breath, we inhale. Exhale, ripple up all the way, vertebrae by vertebrae, that head arrives last. And then with those legs in that diamond shape, we're gonna see if we can roll all the way back down onto our mat, engaging through the core. And then when you arrive, see if you can lift those legs straight up high towards the sky. Take hold of the outer edges of the feet, cast or ankles, coming into a little happy baby. 
maybe play with extending one leg and then the other. Notice how you might feel a little bit more space in those hips. Eventually releasing both legs down towards the ground. Taking hold of opposite elbows on the floor behind your head, just windshield those knees from left to right. And then in your own time, coming all the way down to lie on your back, finding our final and our most important posture of our practice together today, our closing relaxation, our Shavasana. Our Shavasana is the moment in our practice where we allow all the benefits of mindfully moving our body to the rhythm of our own breath sink in. And if your mind begins to wander here, perhaps bring your awareness to the weight of your body on the floor. Perhaps to the sound and the movement of your breath. And you can either stay here, pausing me now and continuing that Shavasana, or if you're coming with me, we're gonna slowly wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, bringing some awareness and life back into the body, maybe circling those wrists, those ankles, taking a full body stretch from the fingertips all the way down to the toes, tuck the knees in towards the chest, and either taking some little rock and rolls, or rolling onto one side in the fetal position. And we're gonna slowly make our way back up to seated. Beginning our practice with a clearing and collective breath. We're gonna inhale, rise the arms high towards the sky. Lightly touch the palms, exhale, draw everything into Anjali Mudra, hands to heart center. Thanking your body, your breath and yourself, most importantly, for showing up on your mat today. Together we rise thumbs to third eye, bowing always in gratitude and always in peace. Thank you so, so much for letting me guide you today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message or comment below. And I look forward to seeing you next time.